Example 13, we have x squared minus 49. Think in your mind, x squared minus 7 squared. And you recognize that as the difference of two squares. And so it factors as x plus 7 times x minus 7. Number 14, 25a squared minus 9b squared. Well, each of these terms is something squared. The 25a squared is 5a squared. And the 9b squared is 3b squared. So I have one thing squared, and I have another thing squared. And it's the difference of those two things. So that means it will factor as thing 1 plus thing 2. So I'll write 5a plus 3b times thing 1 minus thing 2, 5a minus 3b. And you could check that with a FOIL, and you would get your outer and inner terms canceling out, and it would give you exactly that. Similar approach to number 15, 16x to the fourth. What squared gives me that? Well, you should see that 4x, if I square it, that will, excuse me, not 4x, 4x squared. 4x squared, if I square that, this squared applies to the 4, giving me the 16, and it applies to the x squared. x squared squared gives me this x to the 4th. So 16x to the 4th is indeed something squared. And then the 36y squared, you should see that that's equal to 6y squared. So I have one thing squared minus another thing squared, which means I can write my answer as 4x squared plus 6y times 4x squared minus 6y. And again, you could check your work by doing a first, outer, inner, last multiplication.